Hello, and thanks for joining me today. It's been over 10 months since I was last at Burnsville Center, so I figured I'd come back. Since then, a lot has changed. The former owner went into foreclosure, and the mall is now owned by a new company. There are some pretty big proposals for this site, link below, but not sure if the plans will follow through as many times they do not with malls like these. Now, I don't want to call Burnsville Center a dead mall. It's more like a zombie mall. Dead, but alive. There are a lot of empty storefronts, but also still many open, and quite a few shoppers, or loiterers, around on a typical Saturday. To be precise, as of the editing of this video, there are 78 store listings on the website. However, in reality, only 58 inline tenants remain, I believe. The rest are kiosks, exterior access, out parcel, anger stores, and stores within stores. Parts of the parking lot are full too yet, but partly because of local dealerships using the space for vehicle storage. No Honda conventions happening at the mall in case you noticed the abundance of Hondas at the beginning of the video. I'd also like to point out there is still a busy operating FYE. Seriously, when was the last time you saw one of those open? And to finish everything off, there's litter everywhere outside and the carpet is teeming with dust bunnies and stains. Don't get me wrong, I think this mall is amazing. It's huge, the architecture is classic, and the logo's pretty awesome. I really hope something positive can happen for this place, whether it's a mall renaissance or a complete re-engineering. But for now, we get to see it in a state of limbo. All right, I'll stop blabbing now. Enjoy the rest of the video, and be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you see. Take care, everyone.